Hey, what up, Z Clan? Hey, everybody else, how you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 uh, Atom Shop video. So today's Tuesday, and uh, we have a reset in the Atomic Shop. So let's see if we're gonna get some new or some good stuff returning. We'll see. And uh, we're also gonna take a look at the challenges. From there, we're gonna call it a, the end. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into the video. And I'm gonna jump to my wife's account so we can see everything that is being featured. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got. Ooh, what's that? Red Menace. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not a big fan. <laughs> Damn, 1,800 for this bundle. That's crazy. Backpack, pit boy skin. Nah. And what is this? Wait, is this something new? Oh no, it might have come when I wasn't here. Alright, so uh, it includes. The eye patch, as we can see over there, this backpack, floor walker outfit, that thing right there. Nah, I don't like that. Floor walker bandana, us, uh, the head of Okay. Nah, I don't like man. And the stinger? I guess it's a weapon outfit, that thing right there. Okay. Uh, no. I don't like that at all. This thing is too big. How much is this count? Man, because it's too big and it's not that. Sp it's not a lot of space inside. It's not worth it to be honest. So if this were to be 50% discount, maybe I would even recommend it. But still, I recommend <laughs> saving that items. Uh, no comment. Gladiator is a pretty good one, but still, it's a very old one. Well, it's you know what, 40% discount, not not that bad. By the way, through the helmet you can still wear the bandana if I remember correctly and some googles like glasses and stuff like that still be visible. Chrome paint, this is super old. So you could have given a a, a bigger dis wait what? Four hundred atoms for the skin? Damn. I guess I'm so much used this skins cost like seven hundred, five hundred. Yeah, but still this thing is all we could have given it a bigger discount. Iron cactus. Nah. Oh, it's an emo. <laughs> nah. Alright, so this is what we got last week. Greatest hits. Cosmetic bundle. Comic book bundle. Oh, okay. Includes the unstoppables. Beds. Okay. Nah. Yeah, I actually bought this bundle and the entire one. I have a review for it, so if you want to take a look, you can go ahead and uh, buy it. The defense is pretty cool. I like the bridge. I really didn't like this building, so I wouldn't even recommend buying it separately because, as I said, it's so big and it doesn't have a lot of space inside. Deep Cave Bundle. Now, this is something I would actually recommend. It's a pretty dope outfit, and I really love that backpack. It's got the a machete on the side, so it actually looks really decent. And the outfit is actually pretty, uh, pretty cool too. Uh, like I would love this bundle even more if that gas mask that we see right there would be, if we were to be able to craft it separately without the helmet, could have made so many cool outfit combos with that. But unfortunately, it's not the case. 
the Haunted House kit. I haven't seen this one before, uh, but it's not new. Okay, and I don't like. Mm, I'm not even gonna grab this outfit if I don't have it on my main, because I love uh, all the Japanese style uh, outfits and stuff like that. All right, so free state salute. Okay, whatever. Now this thing is leaving soon. And the communist pens. Woo! <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Oh well. Well, it's alright. I mean, it's got a, a pretty cool returns. Don't look like we got anything new. So, not the best atomic shop, I would say. I was really, really hoping for something new. And by the way, last week when I covered the atomic shop, I didn't know what was for the Fallout first because the patch notes were not up. Well, apparently there's a Hawaii shirt and pants for Fallout first members. And according to the screenshot, it's not the best. <laughs> So, I ain't gonna give myself all offers just to get that item. Anyway, let's take a look at the challenges. Alright, so for the challenges, uh, weekly, we've got build floor, wall, roof at the workshop or camp, uh, collect 500 legendary script, uh, complete daily operations five times, complete the gold star daily challenge. So, if you'll do your dailies right here, and once you do this one, basically you gotta do just five of your dailies. That will trigger, this will trigger, and you're done. Uh, complete ten events, then complete an event, a colossal problem. Craft ammo at the workbench 150. Uh, level up three times, and repair armor, weapons, power armor ten times. So it's all pretty straightforward. For the daily buy or sell from another player, collect gold bullion, complete a daily operation, complete an event, eat pre-war food, this will trigger as soon as you do 5 dailies, kill 15 mole miners, and level up. So it's also all very pretty straightforward. Oh well, uh, this is where I'm going to be calling in the end for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. So if you want to say something good, bad, feel free to comment. The only thing I ask of you is not to swear. And if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z-Clan. I'm Gamer Z, all from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. Once again, thanks a lot for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. And by the way, uh, there is still a war going on here in Ukraine, so if you feel like doing a little bit of donations or charity, I did leave two links to uh, two different funds created by the NBU, which is the National Bank of Ukraine. Uh, one fund is for military, and the other one is for humanitarian, so if you feel like making any donations, feel free to use those links. And once again, thank you for all of the support that you all provide us, uh, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. From the ashes we rose, into the future we'll go. We are